Hello, and today in the shed, I'm going to be starting off my runner beans. This variety is called Scarlet Emperor. Other varieties are available. Now, runner beans, uh, I'm going to start them off indoors. This is the very earliest you would be doing it. Uh, you could plant them straight outside, but you'd have to wait until late May. So this is just giving us a head start. Um, you, again, you're going to need your toilet roll tubes, as we did for broad beans, if you did that. If you didn't, hopefully you've saved some since. They've got very, you don't have to, I mean, you could, I've used a number of different things. There's kind of cardboard little pots with the top take the bottom taken off so they just need some space for the roots these are some I did earlier um, so they basically you pop them in said tube about an inch or so down top that up with soil it's well uh, pre moistened compost because then you don't have to sort of flush it all out at the end and then inside on a, on a warm bright windowsill uh, if you grow, you grow as many as you like, you're going to grow them in a wigwam, cane wigwam, made with obviously bamboo canes traditionally, or sticks, whatever you've got. Um, they're 10 inches apart, so if you had six plants, you'd need a circumference of a piece of ground of 60 inches, or 80 inches for eight, etc, etc, etc. What else to say about them? They're an incredibly um, useful kind of crop, because if you pick them when they're really young, honestly, they taste so much better than the stringy runner beans of our youth. But if you leave them to go over and get fat, Obviously, the beans inside will look like this and they can be dried and then they can be reconstituted and eaten as a sort of winter, winter protein. These times of survival. Um, also, they're your seeds for the following year. And an interesting fact, which I found out about runner beans, which is quite amazing, is that if you keep the seed year on year on year on year, over sort of four or five years, they gradually adjust to be more suited to the ground you keep putting them in. So they literally adopt the environment that surrounds them which is the opposite of obviously what we mostly do. So I thought so that was quite interesting. Anything else about runner beans? No, not really, that's it. Keep them moist and when you put them in the ground, they're quite greedy. They'll put up with shade. They don't need, necessarily need full sun, but they don't like dry and they do like to be fed. So you're gonna have me put something in the soil before fish blood, bone, compost, something. Uh, that's it, happy growing.